This is my review of Christina Cowell's How to Train Your Dragon. Um, it's kind of a review of both the book and the film because I really prefer the film to the book. Um, I do really like the book um, in it. Uh, pick up. He's the son of the um, Viking chief and everyone expects him to kind of be big and brave and uh, get this dragon and you get to find out if he gets the dragon or not, gets to train it. Um, and the film is pretty much the same thing. He's still the son of the chief and he doesn't have to train a dragon so much as kill one. Um, but he finds a dragon and starts to train it and look after it and people think it's really strange. So it's kind of a um, classic story about the underdog outsider um, tries a different route to everybody else and I won't ruin it but you know he may or may not be successful um, and I really did prefer the film just because I don't even know why I just I love the dragon too I love watching him and it's really funny as well um, and this book is funny it's just not my type of humour um, like it just has lots of diagrams and things like uh, meathead islands like it's it's very blunt it's very Viking style, um, the way like even just in the language, the names of the people, like or the dragons, this one's called the Gronkle. Let's see that. Um, so I really do love all the language, and I imagine it would be really, really fun to read to kids. Um, I mean, even the way the lang that it's written, it's like silence, God, God, the, the belt, and things like that. <laughs> I can't really read it backwards. Um, but yeah, so I imagine it'd be really fun to read to kids, but. For me, um, I wouldn't have really chosen to read it. I don't even know if I would have. I think I would have chosen to read it when I was about eight. Um, but I still would have. It's, it's very much a read aloud book, which is, is great, but I know that it's not for me. So I would probably give the book as a recommendation, I'd give it a four out of five. But for me personally to read it, it would probably be like a three, maybe two, two and three quarters. Um, but I would definitely recommend it if you like that type of reading where it, it is very funny and it is really enjoyable um, so I would try it but I'd just say literally read like uh, the blurb and if you like the blurb you're gonna like the book if you're like me and you're like oh god let's see Dragonus Giganticus Maximus the pick up these are already rude names you're probably not gonna like it um, so oh no you won't like it it's just you won't like it as much, maybe. Because I did, I did like it. I just, I'm probably not going to read the rest of the series. Um, yeah. So that's that's it really. And I really like, I did really like the characters though. I loved all the friendship between all of them. I thought that was was really good. I did really like Hiccup. Um, and I did, I really liked the ending actually. So it was probably my favourite part of the book, and not because it ends. Um, <laughs> just like the chapter before, like the two chapters before the epilogue. I don't want to say too much about it, but that's it. That was my favorite part. Um, yes, yeah, so I hope you all read it, and thank you so much for watching. Bye.